Bohr had given his atomic model, which was called the Bohr's atomic model, according to which the entire mass of the atom was concentrated in the nucleus because the mass of electrons is negligible as compared to the mass of protons. So the entire mass of the atom is present in the nucleus as the protons are present in the nucleus of the atom. Scientists took two nuclei, the hydrogen nucleus and the helium nucleus. So we know that the entire mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. So hydrogen has one proton, helium has two protons. So the mass of, the mass of helium should be twice the mass of hydrogen as helium has two protons and hydrogen has one proton. But when experiments were performed, it was observed that the mass of helium was four times the mass of hydrogen. So where was this extra mass coming from in the helium atom? So scientists concluded that there should be some extra particle which is present in the nucleus of the helium atom. This extra particle is giving the extra mass of the helium nucleus and this particle should be neutral because an atom is electrically neutral. The number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. So now, if this particle has some charge, it will make the atom unstable. That will, that is, it will not be electrically neutral. Therefore, this extra particle should be neutral in nature. One such scientist was James Shadwick. He was interested and curious to know where that extra mass in the helium nucleus was coming from. So he performed a number of experiments. In one such experiment, he used a beryllium nucleus and he projected an alpha particle on this beryllium nucleus. So when he projected, he observed that a particle was released. He called it neutron. Now he wanted to check if this neutron was neutral in nature or not. So he took this field. This is a field of positive particles. It has all the positive particles in it. So if a positive particle is passed to, through this field, you see that like charges repel. So if a proton is passed to, through this field, it is repelled by these positive charges. Then he passed the neutron, the particle that he had achieved from the reaction. He passed the neutron through this field. He observed that the neutron was neither attracted nor repelled by these positive charges. And so he concluded that neutron is neutral in nature. It has no charge on it. And also later by some experiments, it was shown that the mass of neutron is equal to the mass of proton. Hence, the mystery of the mass of helium nucleus was now solved. Helium nucleus has four times the mass of hydrogen nucleus. Therefore, it has two extra neutrons. These neutrons, the two neutrons, make the mass of helium nucleus four times the mass of hydrogen. Since we know that the mass of neutron is equal to the mass of proton and hydrogen nucleus has only one proton. Therefore, these four particles, two protons and two neutrons, make the mass of helium four times the mass of hydrogen. And hence, this is how neutrons were discovered. So this is the present accepted form of the structure of atom. The nucleus of the atom contains protons and neutrons, and the electrons revolve around the nucleus in definite orbits. So this is the structure of atom as we know today. The credit for the discovery of neutron goes to so we know it was James Shadwick who had performed an experiment using beryllium nucleus. He had projected the alpha particles and then he had found out that a particle neutron was released which was neutral in nature. So the credit for the discovery of neutron goes to James Shadwick.